Welcome to part one of my next adventures in greening. All of these shirts, there's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shirts all have stains on them. I stain my shirts all the time. It's kind of hard to see them. There's a stain here. And the entire top of this shirt has stains. This shirt has stains. This white shirt's a great example of a stain. This pink shirt, it's hard to see, but that entire area right here is discolored. Same with even the print, you can see. And with the purple, there's some more stains, and there's some more stains. This is a lot of money in shirts. This is a lot of money in shirts that I would be donating, or throwing away, or cutting up to use as rags around the house. But the problem is, is there's five shirts there that are all long sleeve shirts that I need for the winter. And if you can see outside, we've gotten some winter weather. I don't want to throw them away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the Net Appear soap from H2O at home. It's just, it looks like a bar of soap. It's a natural stain removing soap that's used for textiles, so you can use it on your clothes, you can use it on your carpet. In fact, on um, my Facebook, I have a uh, photo of some of the soap that had been used with the all-purpose glove, and it removes some stains on carpet. So you'll see, I'm gonna wet the soap down, take it back over to my workspace, and then I'm just gonna lightly Rub like as if I were using, um, I guess, Shout or any of those other kinds of um, stain removers that I've always used. Here's the black stain. So I'm just going to take this soap, rub it in. That one's already starting to come up. And then this is going to be my next load to go in the laundry. And so this is part one. Part two is going to be of all these shirts again after they've been stain treated. And I'm hoping that I'm going to save my husband a little bit of money by not having to buy more shirts. So stay tuned for part two to see if the stains have gone. 